This is a tutorial video to show how to use the compass rose for use with the wireless weather sensor with GPS. I've created a display with the background image of a compass rose. On top of that, I've overlaid a Cartesian graph of the wind direction and speed on top of this graph. Behind this, there are some calculations that will transform the polar coordinate system, which the data is actually taken in, and then overlaid it over the XY uh, coordinate system that we have here. One of the first steps that we want to do to make sure that we have displayed all of our data is to click on the scale to fit. What that will do is it will make sure that every data point that is collected and can be displayed on this graph is displayed here rather than having data points that may exist off the graph. This will let us know what the minimum settings are for our both our horizontal and our vertical axes so that we can contain all of the data. To make this data easier to read, we want to have as many of these data points on the compass rows as possible because each of these concentric circles is going to represent a particular wind speed. So to do that, we're going to actually first align the center of this compass rose to the axis system. Now, the rose is, itself is a background image, so I'm going to click, hold, and drag on my graph and drag my graph's origin to the origin of the compass rose. Once I've done that, I'm now going to grab the axis major divisions here and slide this in. Because there are four concentric circles here, uh, it will make it easier to read the data if we have the outermost ring be 4 meters per second. So then we can easily read 4 meters per second, 3 meters per second, 2 meters per second, and 1 meter per second. So I've done that for the horizontal axis, and I'll need to repeat that same process for my vertical axis. We do have one data point that's slightly outside the, uh, the outer uh, ring here, but we'll, we'll sacrifice that for um, the ease of reading the speeds on the inside. Okay, now that I have my axis system for my graph aligned with the axis system for my compass rows, I'm going to lock my axes. And now that I have that in place, I can start to collect data, and I'll see a live display of the data generated on the compass rows that I've um, previously aligned on my workbook page.